Hi, I'm going to try and show you how to make a tin can stove for cooking pancakes on. First thing you need is a tin can, any size. This is a beans tin. Label taken off and washed out. And then you take a can opener and you go around the top from the side in and make some punctures with your can opener. So make a cut. Circle it around a little bit and move it. Make another one. Go all around the top edge, making little cuts. These cuts are going to be your air holes. And you want cuts all the way around just under the edge of the can. So you end up with a row of cuts like that all the way around. Then you want to do the same at the bottom next to the open end. These are maybe slightly trickier to do. These are tasks for mums and dads to help with. Because we're going to use a candle inside this tin can to provide the heat for the stove. And the candle needs oxygen to burn. All right, so now you've made your basic holes, you then want to make them bigger. So you either take a screwdriver or a knife and then you poke the screwdriver into your holes and twist try and make try and not dent the lid like I just did to make your holes bigger. Now, you see you've got bigger air holes. They don't have to be neat. That one's not burst. And then same if you've got any air holes at the bottom. You can get your screwdriver in. Try and widen them out. Now, also, if you have it, if you've got a set of pliers or snips at the bottom, it's good to make a, like a door in it. So let's take a pair of snips and cut through the thick bit at the bottom and then up the can and go over about two inches cut through again and go up and then be careful because these edges are sharp then you want to fold that flap up to make a nice big ear hole at the bottom 
So now you've got a row of holes around the top, a big flap at the bottom if you can, and some air holes at the bottom. Then we'll be popping a candle inside under there and it needs lots of air holes so that it can breathe. 